CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220 1101, Practice Exam. Questions 11 through 15. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So, are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 11. What wireless communication standards supports my MO technology? The answer is D, 802.11n. The 802.11n standard, also known as Wi-Fi 4, was the first wireless standard to support MIMO technology, which utilizes multiple antennas for sending and receiving data, enhancing both the speed and reliability of wireless communications. This standard brought a significant improvement over its predecessors by increasing the network's capacity to handle more data and providing better performance in environments with interference, making it a key evolution in Wi-Fi technology. Question 12. When a technician turns on a computer and its attached monitor displays a no-input signal detected message while the computer's indicator lights are active, what would be the most likely solution? The answer is C. Change the input selection on the monitor. The message no input signal detected on a monitor while the computer's lights are on typically indicates that the monitor is not receiving a signal from the computer's output port. The most likely solution is to change the input selection on the monitor. Monitors often have multiple input ports and can be set to receive a signal from HDMI, DisplayPort, VGA, or DVI connections. If the monitor is set to the wrong input source, it will not display the computer's signal. Question 13. What component is responsible for detecting user input on the touch screen of a mobile device? The answer is B, digitizer. The digitizer is the component in a mobile device's touch screen that detects and processes user input. It's a layer of touch-sensitive material overlaid on the display screen that translates the touch or gesture into a digital signal that the device can understand and respond to. When a user interacts with the touch screen, the digitizer's sensors detect the pressure and location of the touch enabling the device to execute commands or actions accordingly. Question 14. After booting up a new computer, the machine's lights and fans activate, yet there are three distinct beeps when starting up. What should be done to fix this problem? The answer is D. Check if the RAM is properly seated. The Power On Self Test is a diagnostic testing sequence run by a computer's BIOS or firmware at startup to check the hardware component's functionality before loading the operating system. If the post encounters a hardware issue, it signals the problem through a series of audible beeps. Three consecutive beeps often indicate a memory related issue, such as RAM not being properly seated. To address this, one should open the computer case and ensure that the RAM modules are securely inserted into their designated slots. Question 15. A significant number of printed documents are discarded at a company each day as they are not collected from the printer tray by the users. Which of the following is the best method to reduce printing costs? The answer is D. Require a pen or badge authentication before a print job is released. Requiring a pen or badge authentication at the printer before a print job is released is an effective method to reduce waste and printing costs. This approach, known as secure print release, ensures that documents are printed only when the user is physically present to collect them. This not only prevents unclaimed printouts from piling up at the printer, but also enhances document security by preventing sensitive information from being left unattended. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. 
It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.